Hello everyone, Sanket here. Welcome to uh, a tutorial on uh, protein protein docking. I know you have been uh, asking for um, uh, the protein protein docking for a very very long time and you, uh, most of you have been anticipating for it also. So today we are going to look at a web server which can perform uh, the protein protein uh, docking. So uh, before even we go to what exactly the tutorial is, um, in short I will just explain you what exactly is a protein protein docking. It's a part of something what we call as protein protein interaction. So suppose you have two proteins, uh, let, let us say you have this one protein which is of A chain and you have another protein which is a B chain and you want to see how both of these proteins interact with each other. So uh, this is a part of something what we call as protein-protein interaction. So how are these two proteins going to interact with each other? Uh, what exactly is going to be their binding energy? This is calculated uh, by uh, certain softwares or tools which is called as protein-protein uh, docking softwares or tools. So um, let us look. So today we are going to look at ClusPro which is a protein-protein uh, docking tool. So ClusPro is a uh, web server, um, basically which uh, provides protein-protein, it's basically a tool and a web server for protein-protein uh, uh, docking. Uh, so um, if you, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, created by the Boston University actually. And uh, when you click on the first uh, hit here, So it takes you to the uh, ClusPro protein protein uh, docking tutorial. All right. Um, then uh, so uh, this is where uh, this is what is the uh, web page of your uh, ClusPro. Here you can enter your job name. You can enter your uh, receptors. Okay. So because uh, we are talking about protein protein docking, so there should be two proteins. One is your receptor protein, and second is your ligand protein. Both of these can be your PDB IDs, uh, which you already know, or you can upload the PDB IDs of your choice. Then you can incorporate the chains. Okay. Now, uh, the further explanation regarding this uh, ClusPro PDB uh, and uh, whatever the further, uh, I mean, the further working and everything which is there. I will be showing it to you um, uh, via the PPT because I have taken screenshots all right, of um, the entire process and uh, the entire explanation of Plus Pro will be done uh, using the screenshots. The reason for doing so is because if you can see here it says that I agree to use Plus Pro only for uh, non-commercial purposes. Now. Um, uh, when you are saying uh, non-commercial, all right, uh, um, uh, it's it's basically like uh, uh, YouTube is uh, a commercial platform, and uh, uh, very frankly, um, I don't get paid, okay, for anything. What uh, all all these uh, tutorials or videos which I am doing for you guys, okay, uh, YouTube uh, does not pay me anything for that. So technically, it's a non-commercial thing. But I don't know what are the uh, policies of YouTube. Um, I don't know what is the policies of ClusPro. Does it consider this video as a commercial one or as a non-commercial one? Okay. Um, um, uh, very frankly, what I'm doing right now, you know, preparing these videos and everything. Okay. Uh, uh, unlike it's, I'm just doing it because um, I'm enjoying doing it, and I want to share some piece of information what I have with the rest of the people or the community of bioinformaticians which is there. So uh, it's a completely, so whatever I'm doing guys, it's a completely, uh, uh, I don't get anything out from that. Okay. Uh, probably I would, uh, if you start subscribing more and uh, you increase my subscription count, um, uh, I get more subscribers, uh, I get more viewers. I think that is the time where I'll start getting something out of whatever I'm doing. And I request all of you guys to subscribe more and more. Um, anyways, so I'll, um, I'll just sh switch to the screenshots now. All right, so the example which I have taken here is of P53 and MDM2. So 4MZI is your P53 uh, protein and 4HBM is your, M, uh, is your MDM2 protein. 
both of these PDBs uh, I have uh, uh, taken from uh, the uh, from your RCSB PDB. And uh, once you go into both of these RCSB PDB, you will get to know that uh, both of them belong. So uh, both of them are um, actually um, uh, have one single chain, which is your A chains. So what we are trying to perform here right now is we are trying to uh, do a docking of the A chain of 4 MZI with the A chain of 4 HBM. After we uh, do this, we can you can also incorporate some job name, whatever is your choice. Then you have to click on I agree to use uh, plus pro as a non-commercial purposes and then you click on uh, dock. After you click on dock, uh, it takes a little bit of time for uh, the docking to be performed. Okay, um, roughly about a half an hour or one hour depending on uh, how the queues are. Um, but once that happens, then you get your final output, then you get your status as finished and uh, this is your user input where you had incorporated your um, uh, your ch uh, first chain that is P53 and your second chain is your MDM2 which is which was your ligand like and then you get a list of the process files. Here you cannot see the list of the process files but you get a list of process files here. Then when you click on view models, okay, when you click on view models here, yeah, this is where uh, you can get the entire results. Okay, so uh, you can see it download all models for uh, coefficients. Then you can see the display model. So here it is 10. When you drop down, you can select more models. Here you can see you have your zero model where you can uh, uh, see both the models being docked. Then you have the, your second, which is so like this. Uh, if you scroll down more, you will get all the uh, 10 models of protein chain one and protein chain two. All right. Uh, now, which model to select? Okay, this is just the uh, representation of what the models are. But we really need to know which is the best protein-protein um, uh, dock model out of all of this. Now, uh, in order to know this, you will have to look at the uh, docking scores. Now, how to do that is here. If you can see, you can see balance, electrostatic, hydrophobic, and van der Waals. So you have to click on view model scores. If you click on view model scores, it will display uh, the model scores of the balance. So let's click on the view model scores here. Yeah. So uh, if you can see, um, I had selected more than 10 here. Okay, uh, the models. So you, it starts from the first one that is your zeroth cluster and then it goes down um, uh, to how many clusters you have been selected. So in this case, if you see the your first zeroth model, it gave uh, the lowest energy of minus uh, 706.3. Okay, the center is nothing but uh, your overall one, but the lowest energy is what we are more interested in. So the lowest energy here is minus 706.3. Then your next cluster um, a model or the next pose, I can say, these are nothing but poses, if I can uh, gi uh, give another term for it. So the second pose gives 705, the third pose gives 696, the, uh, the next pose gives 703. So of this, the best pose here is your the first, the zeroth pose, which gives us a uh, docking score of minus 706.3. So um, if you um, go for, uh, then what you can do is you can download your display models here. And when you can download your displayed model, you can download the uh, zeroth pose, okay, which is basically this pose. And this pose gives us uh, minus uh, what uh, 706, which is your best pose here. All right. Uh, so this can be considered as the best protein protein docking score. All right. Uh, like this, you can select uh, electrostatic, you can select hydrophobic, you can select Van der Waals electric based on whatever you want to, um, whatever is uh, you are comfortable with. But in all the four cases, be it the balanced, okay, balance is nothing but your potential energy, which is your overall energy, which it's considering. You can also, so even if you select electrostatic, even if you select hydrophobic, even if you select Van der Waals, okay, it's still uh, going to give us um, your first cluster, okay. It's still going to give us your first cluster as the best dock score, all right. So uh, this is how you perform protein-protein docking uh, using uh, ClusPro.
okay you can download this uh, uh, doc score in um, uh, and it will get downloaded as a dot pdb file and you can view this dot pdb file in pymol to know how how the pose looks like you can actually uh, go to my video of um, a protein ligand docking uh, where i have um, um, actually showed how you can visualize a um, pdb file in pymol all right so you can visualize this doc score in pymol and you can uh, understand how the two proteins are actually interacting with each other or otherwise visually also through here you can see that how the two proteins and at what regions they are interacting with each other right uh, to more about this paper or to cite whenever this paper as they are said uh, you can click on this link it takes you to the actual paper of plus pro Uh, i think this will this will be the most recent one which is about 2017 okay which is the most uh, recent um, one which they have said okay it's uh, of um, it's a nature it's in nature protocols okay the class pro web server for protein protein docking this is what uh, is the most recent uh, cited paper for this uh, yeah so this is how you can perform protein protein docking uh, using this tool uh, called as class pro again because of commercial issues uh, i could not actually show you the working but using screenshots i have tried to show how uh, the uh, plus pro actually looks and how it actually functions so um, uh, i hope you have understood how the protein protein docking works and which is the tool to be used uh, if you want to understand um, the docking score between two proteins Uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel because the more you subscribe to it okay uh, i will be in a um, um, in a good position to show you more uh, tools and more tutorials and bring you more lectures all right so please 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 subscribe uh, to my channel all right um, so thank you very much uh, bye bye